Sound check. We're good. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm just doing a quick little patch to uh, the Cute Chess program that uh, we use for stockfish testing on our fish test custom variant server and all the distributed instances that attach to that. Um, so what I had done is downloaded the source code for, well, let me start from the beginning. Um, what I'm going to need to do is to fork Cute Chess, which I think I've already done, which is going to require me to do another step here, but we're going to copy this here URL, which says I'm 124 commits behind the master. Um, I've downloaded Cute Chess through this URL. Uh, get remote add my name like this. Get um, check out branch uh, two kings uh, adjudication. This is what I'm going to call the new branch. Um, we'll get back to the code changes in a second. Uh, get status, get add projects, etc. Status, get commit, fix uh, to King's Edge uh, insufficient material adjudication. Uh, get check out, uh, actually, yeah, uh, get fetch master from my repository. Uh, hang on, like this. Okay, I guess I need a key to do that. We can do that. Get check out. Uh, actually, no, that's not what we want to do. Get check out master. Get push to my repository, the master branch. Strictly not necessary, but it's good to show them up to date with all that stuff. Um, yeah, had I been doing this more systematically, I would have realized earlier that that step was not necessary. Uh, so we're going to check out the branch that I just created that has all the differences on it. Um, here are the differences. Namely, that I've gone into king, two kings each board. And in two kings each board, I've implemented a function that exists in the super class. Um, or the base class, since we're talking C++. Uh, basically copied all the code there, um, but with one little difference. That one difference being when we're counting insufficient mating material, uh, do not skip counting the king. Count the king as two pieces, or two points. Um, count each knight as one, count each bishop as one, etc., as we were always doing. Um, and if you have insufficient material less than or equal to five, only then declare insufficient mating material. So if one player has two kings and the other player has one king, that is not insufficient material because the player with two kings can still checkmate the player with one king. Uh, I should preface this all by saying, and I failed to do this, um, this is for the variant of two kings chess, where each player starts with two kings. So checkmate's a bit different. Um, hang on. I'd implemented a 100 move rule. Um, uh, I messed up. Let's see. So I need to go back into this file. Um, fix my comment. Get add projects, etc. Get commit amend. Okay, uh, so comparing this branch now to master, we now see uh, we still have the 50 move rule that counts to 100 plies. That was always that way. I didn't write that that way. That's the ply count, not the move count. Uh, we got threefold repetition checks, etc. Um, and uh, in the header file for this board class, I also had to add the rule. Um, or add the definition of result. So this works just great. I was able to compile with it. I was able to test with it. It was beautiful. And now that I've made this patch, 
as compared to um, just as a point of reference, let's look at it. Western board is just Western chess. Uh, so I meant to type 50 here. We've got the 50 move rule. But prior to that, for Western chess, it says uh, do not count kings when trying to figure out the insufficient mating material count. And that's what I'm changing. So this used to say if material is less than or equal to one, um, then you have insufficient mating material because you need at least two miners to mate. Um, I changed my counter to five because I'm counting each king is two. And I mean, I could probably should do it a bit more. <laughs> this is funny. Um, you're going to enjoy this one. Uh, so to make this a little bit easier to follow, um, hang on, is this the right one? Yeah. So here's our 50 move rule, here's our insufficient mating material count. I'm actually going to change material to 1 there and start off insufficient mating material with a value of negative 4, uh, 2 kings. Uh, get add projects, get commit amend, okay, and then if I go back I can still run, um, yeah, I can still play two kings games without it instantly adjudicating. I'd written a script for that, we don't need to go into all the details there. It works. Get diff master, um, so we can see up here Here's our two kings material count, starting at negative four, counting each king is two, and if there's less than or equal to one, then it's insufficient mating material. That'll do. That's beautiful. I mean, not really, but it works. Um, branch V. All right, get push to my repository, this thing, and then got this name here so we can go up on github and github already knows about this in fact github wants me to submit a pull request which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do and a good thing to do here um, king king versus king is is not an automatic draw um, Um, include commoner in the material count uh, as two minor pieces. Valued as a rook. Okay, cool as a major piece. Create pull request and we'll see how long this hangs in there. Um, probably should have let Fabian know about this so uh, Fabian this is um, the Cute chess CLI I have used in my recent testing. Okay. Simple, beautiful ish. I mean, there's ways to make this more beautiful, refactor it so it isn't like this behemoth of a block of code. But it'll do the job. It's more than sufficient. Um, And I think the fact that I'm even submitting this for a pull request, um, you know, opens it up to, well, uh, commentary of how to better code it. Um, is there a way I can grant, uh, oh, I can grant edits to maintainers. I want to grant um, editing rights to Fabian as well, but he's not a maintainer. Um, so... Okay, that's me fixing uh, cute chess so I can use it 
to play out end games like uh, the ones listed here, uh, two kings that EPD and uh, here. So this sort of end game position I've been using in my testing. Here's a kind of fun one where both players have two kings. White's two kings are on the sixth rank. Black's two kings are in the corners. I'm pretty sure that's a win for white. I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure that if you just chase the king and not the commoner, you can probably hound it into the corner and mate it. I'm not entirely sure, but it really looks like this is very advantageous. Uh, there's a position I've used in some of my earlier testing, and uh, uh, that's where all the kings are in the corners. And I mean, try all kinds of permutations of anywhere you can place four kings on a chessboard. See what you come up with. Um, you could probably get a lot of interesting positions that way, but uh, this is the branch I've been using for my testing. Um, be cool if Fabian were to support this uh, patch or refactor it somehow or do it better or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is out in the community. Anybody can use it. So yeah, simplest coding stream I've ever done. Um, if you blinked, you missed it. Sorry. At least the video will be available on demand. If you have questions, you know where to go. It's just GitHub. Look for issue or pull request number 324 on the cute chess slash cute chess. You can find that by typing in cute chess into the search bar and it's the first result. And then if you go to the pull requests, that's where you find it. Um, I probably should have checked if there was one here bef uh, for two kings before I submitted this. My bad. But uh, this maintainer does a good job of making sure patches make it in there in time. Yep, sorry. you just have to check out the VOD. Um, I know I usually ramble for hours while I'm coding, but this should uh, be a nice contrast comparison, however else you want to phrase that. So uh, you can also view the diff here on GitHub, and it shows here's all the code you changed. Again two kings, uh, we're counting insufficient material, starting from a base value of negative four, adding two points per king discovered. So a king that, if you have three or more kings on the board, uh, the third king is handled uh, the same way as a rook or a queen, and that is treated as a major piece. And if we find that a material count is more than one minor piece or is a major piece, then uh, we skip this. But otherwise, if there are only two kings remaining on the board, then that's insufficient mating material. That's the heart of the fix. Um, not sure about this one. 50 move rule might be a bit different for two kings chess. Maybe you want a 100 move rule or some other number. Um, once table bases are generated, which ironically might require fixing this first, we'll know what the rule should be. But anyway, that was simple. Um, I'm actually going to wrap it up here. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out the VOD if you like. Um, if you've got questions, you know where to go. We'll be around. See you next time, uh, and take care.